Hey guys, uh, this is Blake Steele with BDS Outdoor Services. I just want to make this quick video. I want to show you my new piece of equipment. So if any of y'all watched my setup video I made, y'all saw I had a 2020 uh, Turf Tiger 252. Well, that machine's gone. I'll show you what I traded it for. So my new machine, I picked up a brand new Cheetah 2 60 inch. Uh, and most important part, has the new Kawasaki, the 38 horsepower, 38.5 EFI. I cannot wait to put this machine to work this season. The Cheetah has always been a dream of mine to have. I've just always liked them. And I kind of, if y'all saw my setup video, I have a banner of a Cheetah in my shop. So I finally was able to get one. If y'all ever need a new machine, go to your dealerships over the winter. They have, my dealer person, I go to Jack Peaks, it's in Newton, Georgia. They have every model possible. I was expecting to get a 37 Vanguard Cheetah. They ended up having the 38 Kawasaki. I kind of had to jump on that because if y'all have been mower shopping, you know how hard those things were to get. So they gave me a very good trade in on my uh, Turf Tiger. So the clamshell bagger is gone, sadly. I did like that, but the Turf Tiger was too heavy. That was the main reason I switched to this. This is a wider deck, wider tires, and it's a couple hundred pounds lighter than the Turf Tiger. So this thing is very nimble, very gentle on turf. Turf, It's very quick. I mean, that's, yeah, the 16 mile an hour, the high low. I'm not sure if anyone knows this. I'm sure most people know it's about the Cheetahs, but they ha it has a high and a low range selector. So it's in low now, that's zero to 12 miles an hour. And then if you shift it to high, it will go up to 16 miles an hour. So that's the special part about the Cheetah. Um, it doesn't have a suspension seat. I may upgrade to one additionally or eventually, but the Cheetah platform, the whole platform suspended. It's been pretty comfortable so far. I've already put a couple hours in it. You could change the uh, ride setting on it, which is nice. Um, but so far that Kawasaki's a beast. I cannot get this thing to bog at all. Any hill, I haven't put in thick grass yet, but I have a feeling it won't have an issue. Because so far, I've only put, I haven't even put two hours on it yet. So I've just mowed two or three yards. And I can already tell you, because this is my first 60 inch machine. I've never had a 60 before because most of my yards in my area are pretty small, kind of uneven. So I've never wanted to try a 60. I thought they would scalp a lot. This machine's proved me wrong. It didn't scalp anywhere near as much as I thought it would. And the time savings already have been insane. My V-Ride on this one property I cut takes me a 45 minutes to an hour to mow it. I timed myself, I did it in 25 on this machine. So 25 versus 45, I mean, across all my yards, that is gonna save so much time, make me so much more efficient this season, and I cannot wait to put it to work. Um, so, I'll show you how to use it. For Skag, y'all know that's the parking brake, or not, I mean, I'm not parking brake, the deck lift. There's this lever right here. So you lift it up, pull the lever, you can drop the deck to any height you want. This is a lot, a lot, it's pretty light for a skag deck. I mean, skag decks are heavy. I personally think they need a lot bigger springs on them, but it's not terrible. Parking brake. So you just press the brake in and squeeze this lever. High low, I showed you all that already. Dual fuel tanks. I think it's six and a half gallon fuel tanks, so 13 in total. Which is, so it's great. I can work all day. It's pretty fuel efficient. I mean, I will this tank's full. I haven't even filled up the other tank. It's still empty. So I might not even use both tanks yet. I'm not sure. I'm bit long days. I probably will, but I want to keep this machine as light as possible. That was kind of my gut. Why, why I sold the turf tiger for this thing. And from what I've learned so far, a lot of people don't seem to like the transaxles over high uh, pump and wheel motor. Like this thing has because this has the, uh, 5400s uh tra transaxles that's why it has the high and low range this is the smoothest zero turn i've ever driven they i i can't explain to you how smooth these controls are 
I think the only thing that beat it was I've demoed the uh, Hustler Hyperdrive at Equip Expo. And that was the one machine that I think is better than this, like control wise. This is such a nice machine to drive. You have to give like the controls no input. You barely move them in the whole machine. It doesn't, it's, the transmission isn't locking on power whatsoever. So I'm just wondering how it will hold up in the long run. I don't think it will be giving me any issues. So I'm really excited to put it to work. So I'll do a mid-season update probably when I get a couple hundred hours on it. Or I'll do a hundred hour review. And I can't wait to show y'all how it does. Oh, also one other thing I did. My, one of my buddies, he's a mobile detailer. I got him to wax. So all the entire mower has been waxed. And so far, everything falls right off of it. it dirt and stuff. This is the only spot right here of stuff sticking. But I mean, it's everything is just falls right off of the paint so washing it and keeping it clean is gonna be very nice so if y'all want to try waxing your mowers i recommend it it will keep them a lot cleaner but yeah so this is my new machine i'll uh, keep y'all updated